Ah, uh, geek, geek out. Pinky's up. Time for another geek out book club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're talking about Ghost Station Zero, the uh, debut issue of the new Codename Babushka miniseries by Anthony Johnson and uh, Shari Chankama. Uh, out in comic book stores everywhere and on Comicsology on Wednesday, August second. Jake, what do you think of the book? Um, how much fun was that opening, dude? It's like they hit the ground running. straight out of a fucking movie, dude. Yeah, it, well, th- this series has always kind of had a cinematic quality. Yeah, to it. well, yeah, cinematic is perfect way to describe just the opening. Yeah. And I'm, and and like, there's still like plenty of book after. Yeah. But like, man, that opening, that prologue, is yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. Again, like, it's and you know, looking at like Atomic Blonde and everything, yeah. I know there isn't as much action in the coldest city. Yeah. But you wouldn't know reading fucking. Any of the code name Babushka books, this Correct. one and just Ghost Station Zero included. And how cool a title is Ghost Station Zero, dude? Every, everything about it was cool because like uh, so you, much sex, so much violence. Yeah, you read the title and then you open it up and she's like motorcycle woman, and you're like, <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can love it. Yeah, it's a. I mean, it's a good, very. Uh, you know, there's influences to like Modesty Blaze mm-hmm. and that sort of thing. Uh, it, it's just a fun. Just a fun spy yeah. book, and you know, well, let's talk about about Shari's art on this. Yeah, it's like, in a way, it almost kind of reminds me of like Becky Cloonan. Yeah, like, no, I I definitely get the Becky Cloonan vibe. Yeah, which I mean, is high yeah. praise. High praise. We're huge fans. I mean, we've had her on the show too, but um, did we ever mention that we were huge fans when she was on the show, or do you think she just inferred? I don't know if I really got across how much I like the Punisher. And her Punisher when I talk to her about it. Fair point. Um, but I yeah, probably could have gone a little more insane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, I, you know, I like to think that whenever we have Anthony on the show and we're about to have him on for like a third time, he's about to pull the hat trick. This really is just a fun, between this and the fuse, the, he he does good work yeah. in image comics. Yeah. You know, very tightly. You can tell pl- he's having fun, too. Yeah. Very tightly plotted, but there is a sense of fun that, especially with the codename Babushka books, um, that just radiates off mm-hmm. this. It's just pure pulpy espionage. We, you know, we don't get spy flicks like this anymore. No, um, not even the Bond movies these days. Yeah, uh, but uh, but here, I mean, it's all that that sense of you know that sense of fun and exhilarating action. This time, Babushka finds herself going to a a ghost station, you know, an abandoned Soviet spy station in Switzerland for an information drop, and of course. You know, as it is wont to do, chaos ensues. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, had flashbacks. <laughs> but the uh, no, it's it's just a <clears throat> voice crack too, because apparently I'm also going through puberty. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but uh, no, it's just a f- it's a fun book. If even if you haven't necessarily read the first Codename Bushka book, I think this is still a very good jumping yeah, on point. And very accessible. Shari Chankama's like art, very kinetic. Yes. Um. Very, I mean, it's just, it's it's lush. That's a good way to put yeah. it. You know, good use of color and shit. I feel like this is a darker, like the way it's the art's presented here yeah. is a little darker than that. Not in that, like, it's more violent, but in that it's, it's darker. It's, yeah. it's not as vibrant as the, as the I feel time. you. Yeah. Because it's a ghost station. <laughs> <laughs> ghost station. Oh. Remember how Iced Earth has a track called the Phantom, the Phantom, Phantom Opera, Opera ghost? ghost? It's fucking astoundingly good track. But the title... Well, they couldn't call it the Phantom of the Opera. Is it not public domain? I, maybe it is. But also, just their like thing, they misspelled Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, their thing is like that entire album. They're like, we're not focusing on the musical, we're focusing on like the novel. Yeah, and so I, yeah, he is referred to the Phantom Opera Ghost, I believe, in the book, isn't he? Am I just making that up? I, I read the book. I don't remember. I have um, to revisit. But yeah, this. I also think it's kind of interesting that it's not codenamed Babushka Ghost Station Zero. It's just straight up Ghost Station Zero. Yeah. Whereas the first one, The Conclave of Death, mm-hmm. available in comic book stores. Fucking great title, too. Uh, they're all great n- titles. Well done, well done, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> but the, you uh, should name Ice Earth Tracks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, I think they call it Family Opera. I, get, I, I don't know. Phantom Opera Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least the song rules. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Check it out. Again, If you if you love the first series hits the ground running lives up to the potential if you haven't read it fresh jumping on point yes. it's it's spectacular and it's out in comic book stores everywhere on wednesday august 2nd yeah this has been another geek out book club i'm sam i'm jake keep reading
This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.